right guys this is going to look at cube and squared so remember cube is that little so squared is a little two and cubed is a little three so if i had five squared it would look like that and five cubed would look like that so remember squared it doesn't mean times two it means you want two you're multiplying your number by itself okay five times five is 25 five cubed is not five times three it's five times five times five okay five times five is 25 multiplied by five 125 okay so you just need to remember let's have a look at another one so let's look at three cubed and we'll look at seven squared so three cubed three times three times three so three times three is nine times by three is 27. Seven squared, seven times seven equals 49. I'm sure this is all ringing bells in your heads. Okay, now this will, um, but this, this video focuses on question number 10. So you'll get questions like this, but it might have like three cubed and seven squared. Okay, so you work out your answers and then you'd add them together. It also has on question 10, bid maths which I know most of you can remember. So it stands for brackets, indices, which is your square and your cube, division, multiplication, addition, multiplication, addition, and then the last one, subtraction. Now this is basically your order of operations. So if you were ever given a question with more than one operation, so it had more than division multiplication, it had like a division and multiplication in, you have to follow this order. So if you were given two and three times by five, you have to do it in the right order. So look here, what comes first? Multiplication. So you would do three times five first. It'd be two and three times five, which is 15. And then you would work it out. Two at 15 is 17. If you did it in the order it was in, you would have two at three, which is five, times by five is 25. You get a completely different answer. So you have to make sure you follow the rules of bid maths, okay? So it might be that you have something in brackets um, so you'd have to do 2 times your 7 what am I doing that? <laughs> um, 2 times 7 first so again that would be 14 and then you times it by 3 to get your answer with 42 so sometimes it can be really long winded and complicated but I'm making these up at the moment so I'm not going to do anything too tricky for you okay um, No, do a division 7 out of 11 times by 3. Okay, so again, multiplication first 11 times 3 is 33, so it's 7 and 33, which would give you your answer of 40. So just make sure when you get a question that looks like this, has more than one operation in, or it has brackets, you need to follow this order. Okay, and it's brackets first, then indices, which is square or cubed then your division, multiplication, addition, and then subtraction.